Hey, what's up guys? I'm Josh. And I'm Alicia. With Terra Drift, your sustainable travel and adventure guides. And today, let's talk about shoes again. We talk about shoes a lot. And we're doing it again because shoes are important. Besides, these Rackle shoes are super environmentally friendly. How environmentally friendly are they? Well, they're made out of hemp, for starters. And if you weren't aware, hemp is incredibly sustainable. One of the most sustainable crops on the planet, in fact. It doesn't require pesticides or herbicides to grow, and it needs a lot less water than cotton. Plus, it can produce more than twice as much usable fiber per acre than cotton. It's more durable than cotton, and it's even moderately antimicrobial. And no, hemp is not the same thing as marijuana. Hemp doesn't contain THC, which is the compound that gets you high. So if you were worried about that. But these Rackle shoes are about more than the hemp uppers. The soles and the footbed are just as interesting. Yeah, it's it's all still made out of foam, but it's extra special sciency foam. It's been treated with something called EcoPure, which promotes biodegradation. Which means that unlike regular shoe foam, this stuff will biodegrade at the end of its life. How cool is that? But we know what you're thinking, because at least half a dozen people have asked us about it. So they just start dissolving on your feet while you're wearing them? Obviously not. Why would anyone invent a shoe that biodegrades while you're wearing them? I don't know. But the answer is no, they do not dissolve while you're walking around town. In fact, they don't start to biodegrade until they come into contact and start reacting with a microbe-rich environment like you'll find in a landfill. <laughs> And once they do, they'll break down 30 to 50 times faster than regular shoe foam, which is huge, huge. because something like 300 million shoes are thrown away every year in the U.S. alone. That's a lot of shoes. So having a shoe that's entirely biodegradable and that starts breaking down in a year is kind of a big deal. I mean, half of it is made from plants and the other half biodegrades, so win-win. Other cool design features? The footbed has raised ridges to stimulate the soles of your feet as you walk, and a bit of squishy arch for mm. extra support. And the shoes come with extra laces. These guys with the fun sort of diamondy pattern, plus a pair that match the exact color of the shoe. So that's the cool, sustainable tech of the shoe. Let's talk about fit and comfort. For starters, these Alex shoes are what Rackle calls a relaxed fit, which means they're not super snug. There's actually plenty of room in there to slip the shoes on and off, let your feet move and breathe, all without feeling like your feet are being smothered or might slip out of your footwear at any moment. For that reason, I ordered a size smaller than I usually wear in sneakers. Normally I wear a size eight, but since these aren't super padded on the inside and offer a looser fit to begin with, and I have a pretty narrow foot, I went with a seven. I probably could have ordered at least a seven and a half, and an eight may have been fine, but the seven is a decent fit. My toes just might get a little smushy in the winter with several pairs of warm socks on. I wear a nine and a half almost exclusively, but I was concerned about the fit too. So I got a nine and they fit just right. Now there's only one style available, at least for now, but I like it. I mean, this shoe could go with just about everything. Shorts, pants, the dress. Plus they come in three quite attractive colors, navy, tan, and this deep coral. And those are the colors for men and women. Thanks, Rackle, for not assuming all women want pink, turquoise, or yellow shoes, or that all men just want black or gray or brown. I truly appreciate the color equality here. In fact, there technically isn't a specific men's and women's style. There are two different ordering pages to make things easy, but it's actually the exact same shoe, which you'll see when you choose a size when ordering. The drop-down menu states the women's and men's sizes right next to each other. Too easy. I will say that we would like to see an option in the future with a more aggressive tread that would be better suited for easy day hikes when traveling. But this model is a solid first release. And they're still really good for travel just because of how light they are. I mean, they weigh virtually nothing. Six ounces to be exact. 
So on your feet or in your bag, they're a very suitable travel shoe. Plus they're comfortable with or without socks. We wore them around town on long walks and you know, when we're allowed to go out again, we'll definitely wear them to go out. As for price, no, they're not as cheap as a pair of sneakers at around $90, but sustainable gear costs more to make, at least right now. So yeah, it requires more of an investment than say a pair of Chuck Taylors, but remember Remember that this is an investment in our planet too. And that's always worth a few extra bucks in our opinion. Just, you know, buy fewer shoes. That's better for the planet anyway. Want to check out a pair of Rackle shoes for yourself? We'll put a link to the site in the description below. And if you get yourself a pair or have some sort of strong feelings about biodegradable footwear, I don't know, let us know what you think in the comments below. Well, that's pretty much all we have for you today, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this video if you found it useful give it a big old thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for more gear reviews and fabulous destinations and make sure to follow us on all the social channels including instagram facebook and twitter at TerraDrift. and check out our blog terradrift.com for even more sustainable travel adventure and gear reviews and as always thanks for watching guys wander on <laughs>